in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. There are some signs of life at the vast Highfell Steel Complex in Mpumalanga, where oil production was halted in 2015 after the country's second largest steelmaker was placed into business rescue. After an unsuccessful attempt to sell the company, all the employees were retrenched in 2016 and the prospect of dismantling the plant and selling it for scrap loomed large. In an attempt to preserve the assets, a decision was made to repurpose the facility as a business park and rent out some of its buildings, workshops and rail sidings. The proceeds have been used to refurbish the High Files heavy structural mill, which has now been reopened to process material brought in from ArcelorMittal South Africa's Newcastle plant under a contract manufacturing agreement. Highfell Steel Structural Mill CEO Johan Berger and AMSA CEO Wim de Klerk offer more insights. Our business park concept grew um, and as we got more tenants in, we actually saw the opportunity to not only preserve but to start perhaps refurbing, refurbishing some of the key assets. And, and the jewel in the crown um, is, is really the structural mill. Slowly but surely, uh, a team of absolutely dedicated, world-class engineers started working to repair this mill. And so but surely they crafted it back to its original design spec, um, back to drawing, back to specification, and to actually uh, change it into a plant that is probably as close as possible to new. We eventually concluded this contract manufacturing agreement and in essence, the contract manufacturing agreement um, works as follows. Um, Metal, um, with its very substantial and, and good equipment, are able to produce better steel than I felt ever could. Um, I felt, on the other hand, at the mall, that could produce large sections, which, which Metal couldn't. So it's actually a fantastic synergy of Metal supplying boom to I felt. I felt converting it and then selling it off via or giving it effectively back to, to metal and the metal uh, sales team then selling it into the market. By combining these two, we have this fantastic synergy of previously, for instance, mainline rail could not be rolled in this country. Um, for three or four decades, each and every piece of mainline rail was imported into this country at huge, huge cost and impact to our industry. Now, as we, as we stand here today, we've actually, by, by cooperating, delivered the synergy where we can produce this. In early April, uh, the mall, the refurbishment was complete. We started rolling on the 13th of April, and we're very, very pleased that the performance of the mall it has improved very, very good from both a yield, a quality perspective, and a throughput perspective. We have received the first 4,000 tons, quality perfect, on spec, and also glad to say, and I see some of the faces in the audience, our customers embraced this and they started buying and we had something like a, a hundred odd clients already taking customers, taking some of the product in the first month. <coughs> There's still a lot of work. 18,000 tons is where you want in the steam want to go to per month. That's the facility that was created. That's the ability to produce 18,000 tons of a steel, very importantly for everyone to understand, that complements our existing arsenal metal product range. It wasn't produced in South Africa. We had to import it all for the last two odd years. So we have a two year period through which you and I am going to try and make this work. Thereafter, we have the option to extend this arrangement for another year. And then hopefully somewhere we will be able to see the long term. That's Krimo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.